Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Forbidden Color. Alex, I'm finally thinking about buying a current gen console, but I'm in a huge dilemma on whether I should get the Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Can you please talk about why you've got an Xbox One? I've mentioned in another episode that I think the console wars are fucking stupid, and I still stand by that. Whether you choose the Xbox One or PS4 should be down to nothing else than two things in particular. One, what is what do your friends have? What are you interested in? And more importantly, which has the games that you care about on them? It's no good saying, oh, well, I always want my games to be in 1080p, so I'm going to go with the PS4. Well, if it's got no games that you care about, then what's the f- what fucking difference does it make? It comes down to, do you, do you like Uncharted? Do you like Bloodborne? Do you like things like The Order? Do you like a lot of more obscure sort of Indian Japanese cool exclusives that Sony like to release? Or do you prefer a lot of the big AAA hitters like Forza, Halo, Gears of War, Sunset Overdrive, all this craziness like that? You gotta weigh it up. And also, what do your friends have? Because it's no good being the only person who gets a PS4 if all your other friends get an Xbox One because then you can't play with them, you can't talk to them. Because next-gen gaming is, for a lot of people, it's a social experience. Forget the actual hardware itself, who gives a fuck. It's about what you're, what games you're playing, who you're talking to, how you're communicating with everyone. It's all it's about the experience of the games and all that. So why did I choose the Xbox One? Well, A, because I like the exclusives better. And B, I'm pretty invested in the Xbox ecosystem. I know you might say it's stupid to care about achievements and whatnot, but I've got a history on the thing now. I played the 360 for years. I've got all my stuff in on there. And not to mention, when you stick with Xbox Live Gold for ages, you actually start getting discounts on things so i'm actually i get like an eight percent discount on everything i buy on the xbox now so it encourages me to stick with it so i might as well that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the ps4 by the looks of things it's actually got a better ui than the xbox one at the moment because the xbox one when it first released was all based around fucking connect and all that shit and they dropped that fucking quickly so the ui is kind of an incoherent mess for now it works fine it's all that but it's not as good as the 360s and it's fine or whatever but ps4 looks a little bit snappier and stuff but if you're going to choose which console to buy based on the ui and you're kind of a dumb idiot as you can probably tell the price didn't make a difference to me either because when they both released here at the same time the xbox one was more expensive because it came with that fucking connect but i didn't give a shit because if you care about the price then i think the xbox one is actually cheaper now than the ps4 so i guess that's if that's important to you i also like the xbox controller a lot here the ps4 controller is a whole lot better than the dual shock 3 or i think that's what it is yeah uh, video games you just go down into all this bullshit and it's just like just buy the one you want y- you're gonna have it at if you're so undecided, then maybe you don't need one. Or if you're so undecided and all you care about is third-party games, then just get whichever one's cheapest, if it's that unimportant. So if you don't know, then what difference does it make? Because when it comes down to it, they're both pretty fucking similar in terms of their game libraries. I mean, really similar. When all the big hitters come out at the end of the year, uh, you're not going to be caring about what it's on, like your, your Fallouts, which we presume is going to be out this year. Your Batman Arkham Knights, your, your new fucking Call of Duties and Assassin's Creed's. It's, it doesn't matter what you play it on. Too bad other people on the internet can't think like that, huh? So all in all, who gives a shit? Just get the one which m- makes the most sense to you. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you hate the decision? Do you hate having to decide? Or is it an obvious choice? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. And make sure you leave suggestions for future job labs. I'll see you next time. Bye. Boy, religion, eh? I- I- I've avoided this one like the fucking plague. For a reason. One, because I know it's. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a video called "I Hate Religion." I'm just not gonna do it. It doesn't make any sense because just the the shit storm it'll cause would not be worth it. I'll, I'll get back to that in one second. The other reason I don't want to really talk about it too much and that and have it be the focus of everything is that I get really tired of it. I get really tired of people blaming.